Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We're playing on the Age of Charlemagne DLC as the Kingdom of Mercia. So I have skipped a couple of turns ahead. I have turned a little, a little bit, which is what you really have to do in this game. If you have too many wars, that war we weariness really will bite you in the arse. And also have to fix up my economy a little bit. So where do we start? We currently have finished off two of the former. Welsh factions, Pewis and uh, whatnot. We are going to be pushing upon the final to take the entire region of Wales. So, uh, what should we recap first? Let's go and look at our family tree. So, we have King Offa, who had one son, Ek Egthrith. That's pretty hard for me to pronounce. Egthrith um, has married, married off to a random princess. Now, Athelstan has married the firstborn daughter, and Senred has married the second-born daughter. So hopefully we can get some more children and, and have Offer's line continue. He does have two more daughters as well. Um, got a lot of other candidates here. Burgred, Leo, Leo Wine. Also, let's have a look at our trade rights. Now, I did send... Uh, who was it? Senred, I do believe. I sent Senred on a ship all around the world. He's currently in sunny Spain. He's in uh, uh, the bottom half of Spain between the border of modern-day Spain and Morocco, which is quite good. Oh, I guess it's Gibraltar, isn't it? My mistake. But uh, yeah, he's been sailing around, so we do have some decent trade rights coming in. We are currently trading with um, the Kingdom of Carloman, which is Charlemagne's brother. The Kingdom of Astorius, the Kingdom of Charlemagne, and the Kingdom of Kent, of course. Now, a huge development has happened, which is quite interesting. The Kingdom of the Picts have eliminated Northumbria, which is huge. They are the powerhouse in the north now. Um, another Pictish sort of tribe here, but Northumbria are down and out for the count. Now, obviously, I still want to continue with my conquest of taking the entirety of England. Whether or not I keep Wessex, I don't know. I do quite like Wessex, though. Maybe we can interbreed with them as well, but it also gives them a bit of a buffer. But I don't know if I entirely trust Winchester, simply because the way Kent hates me at the moment. We are degrading quite significantly, and they are a subjugation state. They do... Actually, does the Kingdom of Wex Wessex want to bend, the, want to bend the knee to me straight away? No. So, I don't know. We, we could levy up some cool Kingdom of Wessex knights, but let's wait and see. I, I think we should wait. So... One more turn until we're out of winter. Now, I have changed up my army. I've got my perfect army build, what I wanted. So, we've got four units of archers, four units of horsemen, one unit of onagers. We have four units of thanes, and then we have six, using, six units of thane spearmen. So, this six units are going to hold the line while the enemy charge at me. I have these infantry swordsmen on the flanks would have preferred if they weren't heavy if they were medium um, they could be a lot quicker to react and we have my archers and obviously cavalry as well we have Ekthrith with two units uh, sorry three units of spearmen four units of axemen he's going to be sitting in Lincoln simply because if the Danish come over or the Pictish invade from the north they push over the border from York uh, we have a bit of defense, because, well, I, I don't think they're going to hit London, but they could. You never know. So, I think that's really all we need to recap. Technologies-wise, um, I am going for campaign movement 20%. I think that would help. So, hopefully these blokes can have some more babies. Um, Objectives-wise, we're still not really anywhere near... To reforge the Kingdom of England, we need to own the provinces of Wessex, Mercia, and Northumbria. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to think. So once I finish off taking the United Kingdom and Ireland, easier said than done, by the way. We might push against the the French, whoever's sort of prominent here. Maybe we should pick a side, Charlemagne or Carloman. Also, a crusade down against the um, Emirate of Cordoba. The... 
I don't know, yeah, Astorius, I don't know if they've been pushing them down. Blaga, Santiago, Santiago, a whale's vagina. <laughs> oh, enough anchor man, right. So my public order's fine now, I did have to build some chapels as well because it was going absolutely atrocious. So, I think we're good enough to end the turn. But guys, if you still are enjoying this Total War Attila Non-Aggressional Pact, um... Can we not help each other? Uh, I, I don't see why not. There's no way in hell I'm going to be pushing down there. And if I do, it'll be against the Caliphate. Could you give me some more money? 600. 900. They can give me 600. Yeah, sure. Non-aggressional pact. We get 600 gold. I'm quite happy with that. But as I was saying, if you're enjoying the Age of Charlemagne Kingdom of Mercy campaign, I would really, really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It's a great way to support my channel. Also, subscribing keeps you up to date if you want to continue. So, a new Pope has been elected, Pope Adrian I. And, oh God, this is not what we wanted. Our worthy bride, intervene, give blessing. Um. Hmm. I did want to marry him off to one of my other princes. So, he does have 220 influence. Um, can I I wish I could check how old my other daughters are. 38. This guy is a little bit old. Um no, I'm going to intervene. I'd much rather... I'm actually sort of... If I wish there was a way I could tell him, like, mate, if you wait three more years, you're going to be in my line. <laughs> okay, non-aggressional pact has been signed between the Kingdom of Mercia and Astorius and the Emirate of Cordoba. All right, war. Interesting. So, we have an illegitimate son, Senwolf. Not good, Athelstan, you bastard, obviously. I wonder if that's scripted. <laughs> Having a bastard, uh... Well, spoilers. I'm not going to say any more for the... <laughs> oh, I probably did. If you haven't seen and caught up to Vikings, I apologise. Right, we're going to continue pushing across. I didn't even think. Season 3 has been out for ages now, anyway. New season's nearly out. Um, we're going to push to modern-day Marseille near Toulouse. See if we can find any more factions. So, let's cross the border. Let's finish off the last of the Welsh and take the entire settlement of Wales. Never have a battle in today's part. So, let's cross the border now. Some decent weather. Okay, so... Ten units. Not a very big army. Nice blonde-looking people. Okay, so let's have a quickly squiz... So, uh, at their allies and such. So, they're at war with the Kingdom of Wessex. Interesting. If I... If I offer to join the war against them... Moderate. Um, what will you give me? Can you give me some money? Low. Because you always do this. You might be able to squeeze that 300 and that can be... Well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Rejected. Okay. So, maybe not. Maybe not. They're not really that interested. So, let's push against the last of the Welsh. I will declare war. No allies have chosen to become involved. Okay. And that is really it. So, can we attack this turn? No, not exactly. So, we do outnumber them quite significantly. I would prefer a land battle. But we do have artillery to face them if, uh, if they decide to hold out the siege. Now, I'm trying to think. Should I move my... My agent over here to increase the public order, but yeah, what I can see, the picks dominate most of what we know. Still, Ireland is bickering, Charlemagne and Carloman. Kingdom of Brittany don't particularly like me, but let's end the turn. Okay, so my integrity is low. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I have been decimating them, obviously, because I haven't been in the field. If, if I decimate a general unit, does that mean I could kill him? Like, he, is he part of the decimation? I don't know. Because I don't think so. So we have been decimating them. The populace has surplused in Mercia. 
Uh, we currently have an army in the field, so we're taking most of the upkeep. But we should be able to. Um, wow. What the fuck? Where did they go? They've decided to run, I guess. They've left their settlement undefended. Why? I really wanted to battle in this part, you bastards. Right, we'll go with a, just a stock standard auto resolve. Unfortunately. So, offer deployed 2,760. We lost 185 on the field. The Welsh deployed, the last of the Welsh, that is, deployed 976 and lost that. The spearmen took most of the casualties and one unit of cavalry. So, we will occupy. And, oh, they tried to flank around or something. I'm not entirely sure now. But they've gone and... Did they... Or did I sack it just then? Did I loot and sack? Oh, I might have accidentally, unless they tried to raise it to the ground. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to occupy... Right, let's fix up the public order. So, Wales has these three settlements. Chester and that. Okay, I'm just trying to see. So, this is my capital, Lynchfield. Probably should expand the undeveloped land. Oh, we don't have any money. So, we're going to be just literally just built slums. Brilliant. Well, we slowly got our kingdom coming along. In the Kingdom of Wessex, the region of Wessex, Canterbury, Winchester, I really need to see how big the garrison is at Winchester. So, St. Albans champions have leveled up in stats. What should we go with? Um, charge, melee attack, melee defense is probably the best. Plus five, that is pretty good if I do say so myself. How old is Offer, by the way? 57. So I guess the line continues through him. I guess it goes to Athelstan, saying he had a bastard. He needs to have a legitimate son. He, I bloody wish he did. Instead of having a, a bastard. God damn it. But I really do like the family tree. At some stage, once my Kingdom of Mercia is huge, I might give out lordships like I do in Medieval Total War. But it's going to be interesting to see how the... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. How the lands expand, I'll give him, like... I don't know, say if we take a, a small part of Iberia, we'll give uh, one of the, say, Athelstan's descendants a part of Iberia and call him the uh, King of Iberia or something. We'll, we'll roleplay it. Right, um, <laughs> we outnumbered them quite significantly, but I want to get a battle in today's episode, so we will, uh, or should we order resolve and do some other stuff? 13 minutes, no, let's get a battle. I haven't played much battles. This is our final against the Welsh. So they're coming we're coming up against three lots of spearmen, three lots of cavalry, four lots of archers, the long blades. But looking at my professional army just here, we're going to be able to have some fun. Uh, maybe we can sit back and have a go with the Onigas. It is pissing down with rain. We do have one barricade, which is <laughs> interesting. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to... Use it to be perfectly honest, but we'll block up the gateways with my spearmen. So just chuck you there. Um. Okay. Where should we put the barricades then? I don't particularly want to put one there because then. I guess just chuck you there. <laughs> I do need you in a better spot, but whatever. Pop you there. Let's try to spread this out a bit now, shall we? Cavalry wise, I basically want you guys to flank and try run down as many of them as possible. Pop you here. Archers wise. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out who the hell those other blokes were, but they're just... Just shitty garrison that I can't really use. They can just sit there. Onigas, where can I put you? It is pissing down with rain, so I don't know how well you're going to do. 
Probably won't go with flaming, but we might be able to have some fun. It's a nice quick little siege, I guess. So let's start the battle. Let's move the cavalry out straight away. Let's keep you guys in there. We'll group. No, we'll just leave you there. Right, so what's going to be hitting us first? Um, it is pissing down with rain, so should I use flyer? Probably not. But let's have a look at these spearmen. I don't think we've had them in the field. So these are the Thane spearmen. We have the actual Thane swordsmen here. Alright, so cavalry continue to flank around here as much as possible. Get my artillery to try just hit the cluster. Probably the best bet. Um, if they engage my spearmen, I'll probably just try flank around with my swordsmen. It's probably a good idea. Keep offer in the back line. Archers take aim. They did have a lot of spearmen, so I might go with a heavy shot. Because whistling shot, well, it does get rid of morale, but we'll go with a heavy shot. Because they are heavily armoured, these blokes. Alright. Let's try swing around here. Maybe just chuck a unit here to bait that spear unit while we throw everyone around the bend. I'm going to be aggressive with the spearmen, so I want to try hit them. Get my artillery now to hit theirs. My swordsmen here are flanking. But we're going to be able to neutralize these archers uh, so easily. I don't know why they left them so vulnerable. They're just trying to get a... They're just trying to push in. Just trying to get a rush tactic. I'm not entirely sh certain if it's working. Get these... Get get these guys to hit that spear unit. But mind you, run these guys down now. Um, how is... Well, we might as well try hit this spear unit here. Send you in and then get you to flank. Uh, these two units of cavalry are doing quite well against them. Uh, they've been broken there. Maybe we can surround and hit their general's bodyguard. But... Spearmen are holding on. Uh, I do need to sort of... Oh, I really need another unit over there just to run them down because they are actually doing a little bit of damage. All right, let's take out this general... Uh, this Sorry, not this general. This horse unit. The general's still holding strong I guess. We can flank around with this unit now. I'm going to get my onigers and my archers to disable fire at will. I can't justify uh, having them at the moment. It's going to cause way too much friendly fire than what they're actually worth. So... Just for you back there, my bad. Did I just... Did they just fucking charge? Alright, get this spear unit out. Hang over here. Run them down run you down. Send this bloke here to hit these guys from behind now. I'm gonna move up my general to help with morale. The enemy general has fallen, so woohoo. This unit of bloody cavalry, get out of there you dickheads. Spearman, go in and help. We've broken them now anyway. How many did we lose? 200. They deployed 1,600. That's not too bad, to be honest. A lot more than what I would have liked. And we've won. Perfect. I kind of wish that the general unit was a a cavalry. I probably can change that somewhere, you'd think. But let's start speeding things up. We have officially finished off the Welsh foolishly. I'm not entirely sure why, but they decided to abandon their settlement. Thought they could beat me in the open field or, I don't know, maybe flank around and start pillaging. But they did themselves an incredible disservice. And now we are mowing them down like the dogs they are. Filthy Welsh. <laughs> oh, jokes. I'm just role-playing as the buddy. Um, perspective of Mercia. Which probably they didn't actually mind the Welsh in real life. The Mercians. But no matter. Okay, continue to run them down. Guys, if you haven't already followed me on my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. You can do you can do it if you want, whatever. You guys will do what you want anyway. So, <laughs> just thought I would let you know. And I respect that. Right, okay. Where else? 
this bloody cavalry unit we need to get rid of. The more we run down, we do have some special traits for running down enemy, but... <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. How are we going? So there's only really one more unit, but... Offer has yet again... Where is he? There he is. Ah! Oh, hey, where is Offer? There he is. Sort of. There he is. <laughs> A decisive battle. Let's end it there. We deployed 2,718. Lost 198 on the field. So just shy of 200 men. And we've officially finished off the Welsh here today. Um, they deployed 1,600. They lost 1,486. So there was 114 remaining, and we're going to execute them. Also had some reinforcements, which I didn't even end up using. So let's kill the captives. Wow, they ran away. Bastards. So... Battle here. Okay. Offer. There's nothing quite quite so satisfying as painting your opponent's head in with a decent mace. There is nothing quite so satisfying as paint. What? <laughs> oh, God. Melee attack for the commander's unit. You got a mace. Do I have to equip that or something? Or is that default now? Because he does have a shield. A Saxon turncoat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to go through them and give them to some people, maybe. Later on, during the end turn phase. So, let's quickly run down the remaining stragglers. They are still in range. Let's go with an aggressive stance. And let's finish them off. Nicely done. Okay. We've officially finished the Welsh faction there. And we've taken the entire uh, province of Wales. But on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We're either going to... I reckon we're going to attack Wessex next. We're going to go try besiege Winchester. Whether or not we subjugate or take it, haven't decided. I don't know. I do quite like Wessex, so that's why I could subjugate them. But however, in the same boat, the Kingdom of Kent is very unhappy with me. Once we've finished off with them, do we go to war with the Kingdom of the Picts? Obviously, having modern-day Scotland and Northumbria under their thumb, that would be a huge war. Am I better off to go over to Ireland and start picking apart the small Irish factions so I can... Irish? Irish. I, Irish. I don't know. I think I said it weirdly. Um, yeah, maybe I'm better going over to Ireland and doing that. Toughening up my troops for the bigger fight. But uh, regardless, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. My name has been Simsy. Stay tuned for more content on Simsy Total War. Goodbye.